everybody. I'm Sean Hammond. We're at Music Mess at 2011 at the Orange Booth with Doug. Doug, how's it going? How are you, man? Good. So, we've got a new, much anticipated amp here, the Dark Terror. The Dark. Did some echo on that. I've got some echo, but I'm going to take terror, terror. I'm actually going to kill the echo. The neat thing is, is that I know you guys have been really covering the kind of the transition of the Tiny Terror line, Tiny Terror, Dual Terror. This is really kind of the the the, the latest and greatest, but. I think for people who've been a fan of this amp, this does something that the others haven't done. There's way more gain. There's a tube effects loop that we'll get to at the end of the demo. Uh, really, the thing is, is that you know a lot of the guys that, that are premier guitar guys are gigging guys. They go to whatever local venue it is. Most of us who do it for a living are playing in clubs, which means we can't take our 100 watt amp, non-master volume, and turn it up. So this guy really, I'm going to go through a couple of things here and just kind of demonstrate it the way Guys like you and I would probably do it. Sounds good. I'm going to move the shape knob now. Okay, let, let, let's see where all the settings are first, exactly. where you were on that. So, so we got the volume just at 12 o'clock, the gain's at 12 o'clock, and the shape is all the way over here, basically at what I would call 35. Tw I'm going to go a little past 12 noon there. <laughs> Sweet, sweet dynamics on board there. Now we should note you're, you've got this the 15 watt and seven knot, and you're in 15 watts right now. And you you also have some uh, delay or and modulation coming through from this even tied unit. Not yet. Uh -oh. Not yet. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. All right. So now we've taken the gain all the way up. Still on that the shape knob there. I have the Tiny Terror, I have the Dual Terror, I have the Tiny Terror hardwired, hand-wired. They don't quite do that. No, they don't. <laughs> okay, let's add in the delay. Thank you. Okay, so now you're at noon on shape. You want to show us what it sounds like when you change that? Okay, let's take, so we're going to take... I'm going to take the delay off, actually, because when we take it to the furthest shape position here, it tightens up, gets a little more trebly. Get your Norwegian metal on. <laughs> uh, absolutely. How about the back panel features? Uh, the back panel matrix is pretty straightforward. Uh, you should have the traditional orange 16 and then two eights. Uh, obviously, we're playing through a 412 here, which is pretty cool. It means you don't necessarily have to go out and get another cabinet. And again, what I love is that it, it translates all the things that you're used to with the with the Thunder Verbs, uh, with the Rocker Verbs, into a smaller package that you can actually take into a venue. You know, I think you know an amp that traditionally has that much gain. You really can't bring it down on... Okay, so I'm going to take it from this same exact setting. No delay. I'm going to bring the volume down. Switch up to the neck. You have 
haven't changed anything but your volume knob and your attack. Totally. Sweet. Now, we should point out, I mean, a lot of times you don't think of a death metal amp as having EL84s, but this still has EL84s, right? You know, honestly, um, it's one of the things about Adrian as a designer, he really, he understands how to get the most out of a, of a tube, and I think you really touched on one of the classic things, when we think of a tube, I think of an EL34 is kind of like, if I'm going to do a death metal kind of a thing, I'm going to do it. But he understands some things about circuitry that I don't begin to understand. But you know, the interesting thing is, I want to show you one other thing that he did here, when you've got the gain up, is when you bring the shape all the way back here, he's brought a little extra high end back into the circuit at the transformer in a way that I can't really explain it any better than that. But what it does... <laughs> that little snap on the top end there. One of the things about a, a lunchbox amp is that you can easily get drowned out in a venue by drums and bass. And that little snap on the top end keeps that articulate. You know what it's like? All of a sudden the band starts banging away. You're like, I can kind of hear me, but I'm lost underneath. And, and that's one of the things about that position, the shape knob. He's played in a bazillion bands, done a bazillion shows. And it's one of those things because he knows circuitry. It's like, I just need to put it a little top end there. Thank you so much for showing it to us, Thank man. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Yeah. Cheers. So where can people go to find out more about it? Orangeamps.com. Sweet. I'm Sean Hammond, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.